Welcome to the Monday Night Raw, episode one. I am Luke Owen, DAD, representing Monday Night Raw. I am Chopper Peak Quinnell, representing also, I guess, Monday, because that's when that goes out, Night Smackdown. That works. <laughs> We're playing my GM mode in WWE 2K22. This video is sponsored by WWE 2K22. Click the links in the video description down below to get your copy of the game available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PC. Clicking that link not only supports 2K, it also supports us here at Parts Fun Known. So go and show your love for both brands by clicking that link in the video description down below. We'd massively appreciate it. Also, it's a very fun game. So get your copy today. So Pete, it's episode one. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm itching. I'm itching to book my show. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm yeah, yeah. well pumped. Uh, uh, a little peek behind the curtain. Mm. Pete told me just before we started recording, I forgot who's on my draft. Yeah, <laughs> I sure did. I've forgotten everything that's going on on my, on my roster. So we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, I guess. Trusty notepad here. I, I, I forgot my notebook this week. Do you want to borrow so, the notebook? I'd love to borrow the notebook. Yeah, okay. You, Thanks, can, you can borrow the notebook. While you book your show. Yeah, I'll, yeah. while, I'll while make, I book my show, you I'll can... Put, I'll write some notes. You can Thanks, write some mate. notes down. If you haven't seen our draft episode, uh, that's in the playlist. Go and check that out because that's where we picked our rosters. And we're going to be booking our first show this week. The way that this works is that the other person isn't going to be looking at the screen while we do this. We're going to have some headphones on, distracting ourselves with some music and listening to uh, Still Sucks by Limp Bizkit. Because of course I am, I'm a cliche. And we then have seven minutes each to book our shows. And that includes going things like the show logistics, managing the roster, playing our power cards and all that sort of stuff. We've got seven minutes each. If your time runs out, that's it. Mm -hmm. You have to finish booking your show and go to the next stage. And then I'll hand the controller over to you and you can book your show. Mm -hmm. The better show. Eh, well, we'll see. So, Pete, if you would uh, put on your headphones. Certainly. I will get up let's a get timer into, here. Let's get into Monday Night Raw. All right, let's set my world champion. How am I going to put it on? Do I just go and put it on Brock? He's my most popular. Or does he not need the title? I can actually put it on someone like Joe, because that will bring him up to Brock's level. I'm going to put on Joe. That gives him a popularity. Cool. Of course I'm going to put the belt on Samoa Joe. Look at him. He's Senor Joe. Smart Joe. Of course I'm putting the belt on him. And my women's title. Um, I might do the same thing, actually. Put on Raquel and bop up her popularity because she's going to be the one who's feeding with Bliss. Yeah, put on Raquel. Bit of a tactic putting the belt on Raquel here because her popularity is quite low and I've got her feeding with Alexa Bliss because she's a giant, she's a cruiserweight so they work quite well together. But her popularity is really down so by putting the belt on her, I get 10 plus onto her popularity. So she now, now she's the same level. So I think, I, I think that's a good move. I can't see her losing the belt really quickly anyway. Confirm selection. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start my seven minutes. Now, okay, we'll take my glasses off. So I actually can't see the screen. Um, oh, actually, sorry. What? Well, I've written my. Wait, why are you... I've written my notes on. I've written my notes on there, so <laughs> you can't use this. I'm afraid you're just going to have to look down. Look Fine. At your, look at your phone or something. I've already, I've already booked out my show, Pete, because I'm a professional. Um, okay, right. So, let's have a quick look first. What's in the journal? So, my commissioner goal, have the most popular male face and heel fight each other this week. And I get free advertising off the back of that. Okay. Do I want to bring a legend in? What's the popularity and stuff? Some of them are quite high. I'd love to bring in Austin, but I need a bit more money for that. Uh, I've got 215 grand. Um, right, I've already spent a minute and I haven't done anything yet. So, let's go and book my show first. So, my opener is... Uh, a one-on-one -on -one match, and it is Raquel Gonzalez versus Alexa Bliss in a in an Extreme Rules match. Title is on the line. Um, failed commissioner goal. Okay, that's fine because they're not my most popular, but it is a title match. No interference on this, so that is fine to save the match. Uh, my mid... You know what? Let's swap this around. Clear. Okay, cool. Clear, 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 clear. Right, one, one. Because I actually want to do this as a Cena versus Orton. 
in an extra. Uh, no, I'm going to do this as a tables match. Mm, do I want to do interference on this one? No, I'm not going to do interference on this one. That's fine. No, because I. Okay, that's fine. So save that. I'm running. Uh, match two. This is going to be Alexa Bliss versus Raquel in an Extreme Rules match, title match. Of course, it's a title match. No interference in that either. I'm going to move Bliss and Gonzalez into the semi-main because I, I think I think the way the game works is you want to have a big match in the opening, a mini match in the middle, and then a big match in the end. And going by the popularity, I think that Cena Orton is a bigger match than Bliss Gonzalez. I think, but I don't know. But that's what I'm going with. I'm going with that, and I think that's going to be the best choice for me. And then my main event is a one-on-one -on -one match, and it is Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. That does mean my commissioner goal in a TLC match. Of course, the title is on the line. No interference in that either. That's good. So I've spent 55. So that takes me down to about 100 and so. I'm bringing a legend. Who can I bring in? Do I bring a legend in at a different point, actually? Just wanted to bring in Austin, just to cut a promo. Yeah, maybe I'll do this at a different time. So I am potentially interested in bringing in a legend, but I need a bit more money because I spent it all and now I've got none. Well, not enough anyway. Let's do my promo segments, I've got three and a half minutes left. Um, cool, self promo. What do I want to do here? I think I just have to do it as a self promo participants edge he's got primary skill four great save that and then call out keith lee calling out mustafa ali save that and then i'm gonna play a power card i'm gonna play my tlc power card here uh, one randomly booked tables, ladders, and chairs match on your show will receive a higher rating than normal. I'll have that, please. One random book. Oh, okay, right. And then I can confirm. On your show. Perfect, thank you. Game didn't say I couldn't do a TLC match, so it's a bloody TLC match. Uh, raise the popularity of a superstar with the lowest popularity by 20. That means that Pete cannot book three random superstars. So that is good. I've got two minutes left. So that's fulfilled. Done my power card right. Let's do one free agents that there might be. Uh, don't need to bring any of these. <laughs> like silence. Silence is cool. Triton, look at this guy. He's amazing. Um, and the moon is also a cruiserweight, so I've got plenty of opportunities there for Raquel feuds. If she, if I finish the feud with Alexa, um, annoyingly, because I've got Reckoning as a fighter, I've still got a minute left. So I've got Reckoning as a fighter as a heel, but I've got no one to bring her. I've got no one to bring in against. Uh, aha! I could bring in Beth Phoenix to a feud with Reckoning. So I might do that next week. I think that is everything. Else. Let me just quickly check. So I've got my opener. Cena vs. Orton. Edge promo. Mid-card. Women's title. Keith Lee calling out Ms. Ali. Main event. Confirm booking. That's my timer. You need to confirm your booking. Sorry, sorry. Well, Chose it's books. my turn now. It's your turn. So you're going to have to set your champions and everything. Mate, I've got a wicked show books. Have you now? Yeah, I have, yeah. I and don't I, believe and you. And I've got plans for next week as well. Don't believe you. Oh, I don't know who to pick for my champions. Do I just go with the biggest? Because I've got a Balor right there. I've got a Walter right there. And as a women's champion, I don't know who I want to pick. I don't know whether to just go for the, the biggest stars or try and like elevate someone up in that slot. I think what I want to do I think I'm going to pick Shayna as my women's champ. 
and have a feud with Dakota Kai over it. Meanwhile, Becky and Charlotte will have a feud. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. We're going to have Shayna. I think Shayna Baszler is going to be like a perfect champion for me because you can have the, the elevated popularity that comes from holding the belt while you can have a really, really high profile feud between Becky and Charlotte at the same time. Two really, really big feuds happening at once. That's going to be profits and fans. Smackdown. Also Tucker. And we're going to have... I think we're going to have Walter. <laughs> I think we're going to have Walter as our champ here. Because then we can have Balor facing maybe a Riddle. That sounds fun. But we'll put the title on Walter for now. If you've got a roster with Walter on it, why wouldn't he be your champion? He's Walter. So we've got Walter and Baser as our, as our champs. Big fan of that. Right, so seven minutes starting now. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is check this schedule of run-in this week. Oh my god. Okay. Um, all right. I need to schedule a run-in. Uh, block and opposing. What do I get for this? Six random superstars in your roster will have the popularity increased by six. That's quite cool. Um, I'll save that though. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to book anyone else. So I'm gonna ha I want to kick off some feuds here. So the main event is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna do a one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to have Walter uh, against Kingston. That's going to be the feud. Uh, we're going to have this be a tables match. Yeah, sure. Why not? Title match? Yeah, why not? Let's go crazy. Interference? Uh, yes. There's going to be a run-in because I need to book one of those. And it's going to be... Uh, we're going to have Tucker. <laughs> we're going to have Tucker run-in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, run-in. So this is who he's attacking. I think, I think that's right. So let's save that match. Uh, Mid-card match is going to be... Let's do a tag team match, actually. Let's do a tag match. So we're going to have Riddle and Divari. Uh, and Riddle versus Balor and... Balor and Mace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interference, no. Just a normal one for this one. Uh, let's save that. And the opener is going to be a big one-on-one -on -one match between Baszler and Dakota. I think that's going to be the big one there. And we're going to have that be a Extreme Rules. Look, no one makes a fool of Monday Night Raw. No one makes a fool of Luke Owen. No one. Yeah, let's go crazy. Time match, why not? Put the titles on the line all the time. Why not? Uh, interference, no. Maybe I'll do an interference in this match. Because these kind of translate a bit more. So we could have... Yeah, we could have Tony Storm run in on that one. So let's confirm that. And we're going to take the interference off of this one. So, like, I, I, I got a bit overexcited. And, and I put Tucker to run in on the main event with Walter and Kofi Kingston. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change that to Tony Storm. But don't worry, Tucker. I've, I've got something really big on the show lined up for you. You, you can still be really, really heavily featured. Don't worry. Let's save that. It's like doing the half whisper. That really annoys me. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a call out and we want to start a few between Becky and Charlotte. Yeah, 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 because she's very good at promos. Uh, role change? No. Advertising's good. I do need money. Um, <laughs> so, who's got the best promo skill? It's Charlotte, but also Tucker. We're going to have Tucker do that. Yeah, works for me. I don't know whether I want to up a popularity by 20. I don't think I do. I might do this, though. Six random people have their popularity increased by six. That's quite nice. Um, one per week. I mean, I might as well, right? Confirm that. I can't even see who it's picking. There was I know there was Becky in there. Great. Tucker, Riddle, Becky, Lynch, Charlotte, Flair, Finn, Balor, Kofi, Kingston. That's cool. That's fine. I'm looking at the most popular superstar on the next week's show. That's huge. What? That's a that's a crazy good power. 
Do I want to do that? It costs 50k though, so I don't think I will. I'll save that. I'll save that. So I think I'm I think I'm pretty much done here because I can't change any of this other stuff until next week. Uh, I've got my show sorted. So I think I'm just going to confirm my booking, you know. Let me just have a look at my roster again. Yeah, I think that works. Because now, Walter's my most popular star because he's got the bell. Shane is up there because she's got the bell. So that's really nice. Uh, I think this works. I think this works. Uh, I don't want to sign any free agents or legends. I'm all good. I'm all done. I don't even need the extra time. I'm just going to confirm this right now. Confirm booking. All, all done with one minute and forty to spare. What, what, what spare? I, I had even more time than that, man. I was just, I was, I was just vibing. I was just double checking stuff. You know, oh, mate, yo, yo, check his, contemplating a lot of stuff. You checking know? stuff's a good idea, man. Yeah, checking was, stuff's uh, a good idea. That was good. All right, did it. Easy, easy. <laughs> Who's got the better show? I do, obviously. All right, well, let's find out. Here. Okay, so welcome we to your go. first show. Uh, he can choose to simulate. Simulate. We're gonna we're gonna simulate these matches, mm. of course. So continue. Yep. Uh, welcome to your first show. Yes. We're gonna rush to simulate the entire show, but we'll do simulate one by one for yep. each of the matches. There so we go. go. Oh my God! John Cena versus Randy Orton in a tables match. In the opener. Oh. <laughs> sure, people okay. will love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Boring. Bruiser versus Fighter. Here we go. All right, let's simulate it. One, two, three. three. John Cena, John Cena wins gets the win there. in the tables match, and it's a two and a half star match. Okay, okay, it's okay. I, I thought it'd be, yep. I thought it'd be bigger than that. Yep. Uh, first match rating. There are things that fans consider when rating your shows. Things like class, role, role matchups, match, match types, types, popularity. Yeah. You want to but try out a combination of different things. things. And I'll know you've got it down. Thanks, thanks Gulak. Thanks, Drew. New cool. rivalry. Star rivalry. Yeah. Excellent. Cena and that's what I was after. Rivalry. There we go. Sweet. That's what I was after. Was my Max level of rivalry. rivalry is four. Any rivalry of level three or four will conclude at a pay-per-view match with a quality bonus. Sweet. Uh, persisting beyond a four can uh, can make fans lose interest. Mm -hmm. So, rivalries that go on for too long makes fans lose interest. That's why I'm doing Cena versus Awesome. <laughs> Ah, so self -promo. Edge doing a self promo. Yeah, All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Continue. Solid. It's okay. Promo rating. Okay. It's okay. Promo oh, effect. Okay. Yeah. One. You know, solid, solid. Alexa Bliss versus Raquel Gonzalez. In an Extreme Rules match. In an match. Extreme Rules match. Oh my goodness. The title is on the line. Okay, who's your champ here? Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez is your champ. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I put the belt on Raquel mm -hmm. because that bumped her popularity to the mm -hmm. same as Bliss. To 58, yeah. So she was like, she was my least popular. Mm -hmm. Now she's like, she's on, decent, she, yeah. She's on top with, uh, yeah. with Bliss. Yeah, yeah. So, so simulate. simulate this. Is We've that going to go up in flames right now? We have Alexa Bliss! We have a new Raw Women's Champion. And she lost the belt. Yes, that's. Sort of my plans. Four star match. Why didn't you book that as your opener? I. Do you know what? I actually had it as my opener. And oh. I changed it out. I think the way the game worked is you want to have a big match in the opening, a mini match in the middle, and then a big match in the end. And going by the popularity, I think that Cena Orton is a bigger match than Bliss Gonzalez. I think. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with that, and I think that's going to be the best choice for me. It was not the best choice for me. Because oh, I thought you meant to do like the. Oh, bugger, yeah, I should have had that. Your opener's opener. supposed to be really good, yeah. and then mid card's supposed to drop down a bit, and then main event's supposed to be really good. Yeah, well, I thought. But that's, that's okay. Yeah, well, it's because I thought I had Raquel in there. Yeah. I thought that that's going to like diminish me down, but yeah, mm. okay. Bugger. Not an extreme rules match, mate. mate I know, but Wild. I, I had that as my opener. It's right, but getting used to the game. Getting used to the, the game. game. Also, all right, call out promo. Keefe's call out Mr. Mr. Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah, makes sense. There we go. Good rating. That also. New rivalry as new well. New rivalry. And then we've got right. Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. Oh! TLC match in the main event. We get a TLC match every week, you said in your promo. I certainly did. For the WWE Championship. Who's your champion? Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is the champ. Samoa right. Joe! It's my champion. Yeah. Senior, Senior Joe! Senior Joe. It's still, Joe. Still Joe. the champion. Joe. Joe. In a legendary oh! five, star five star match. We already had a five star match. Of course we did. Hot damn. All right. Stars for you! Stars for you! Stars for everyone! F five stars on the first show! There's literally no way I can lose this week! So, I mean, Luke might have had the five star match, right? But not all is lost. I think I've had a pretty solid show here, and, you know, maybe, maybe I've got some fans from it. That'd be nice. I mean, Tucker was on it. Gotta get fans, right?
Absolute you know, winner there, mate. Might be. Pretty good show. All right, so we've got, to start off with, Shayna Baszler versus Dakota Kai <gasps> in an extreme rules match for the championship with a run-in from Tony Storm. Who's the champ? Shayna Baszler. Shani Baz. With, Shayna okay, Baszler. Okay, Tony Storm. So you're looking to start the feud between Tony and Shen. That's the idea, okay. supposedly. Uh, so let's see if that works. We're going to simulate here. It's Shayna Baszler. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Three and a half Ooh, stars half to star kick it opener. off. That's good. That's, That's good actually opener. better than what I had. It's a good opener right there. Okay. Yeah, Big yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, now we've got a call-out promo between Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Uh -huh. Becky yep. Lynch, good promo. Good promo. She's a five out of five promo. New so, rivalry you know, as new well. New rivalry, which is just what I wanted. We've Ooh, got attack match. Riddle and, and Davari versus Mason Bala. Nice. Yeah. So we're I didn't do any tag this. matches on mine. Mm. What are you hoping for here? I don't know. Cool. cool. Baron Mace. Baron Mace. That works for me. Two star. You know, that's all it needed to be. It's mid card. So you are that's now right. rivalry between Davari, Davari and Riddle, Riddle versus... Balor and Mace. Balor and Mace is a tag team. What are you going to call them? Base. <laughs> <laughs> How low can you go? <laughs> Death Row. A lot of brother knows. Ooh. All right. And Riddle and Davari are a team it. as well. I'll take it. You know, I'll take yeah. it. We've got uh, Tucker doing an advertising promo because I do, I do need money. Oh, uh, does that get you money? Sure does. Perfect <laughs> minus three. In fact, got you ten grand though. Ten grand, I'll take it. Hey, that's pretty. But, that's, you know, but, oh, Tucker. Oh, Tucker, mate. Oh, Tucker. I'm sorry, bud. Tucker got to plug some merch. Good, good job, pal. Re yep, great. Oh, oh look at this table. Walter match. versus Kofi Kingston in a tables match for the main event. Walter, the champion, taking on. Kofi Kingston. I was about to say, surely Walter's the champion, right? It's got to okay. be. Two, three. Come on. Walter it's Walter retained. retaining. Walter retained. Love that. Four star Four main event. New Not rivalry bad. between Walter and Kingston as well. That's what we were going for. Love it. Not Love it. Love it. All right. Post show breakdown. Oh! So, so look. So look. I had a 3.5 star opening. You, you had 2.5. Yeah. Four star mid card. I had two star. Five star main event versus a four star main event on SmackDown. So yeah. I think this is going to be really close, honestly, because mm -hmm. mine f more closely follows the expectation for what's going on. Oh, but whereas mine's yours like is actually just better. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, because yeah, my open is bad. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yours goes steadily up where it's yeah. supposed to kind of like undulate. So I don't know who's going to be on top he here. Peaks and troughs. Oh, Ooh, man. It's me, here we go. All right. me changing my mind going to screw me here. So, uh, more information we can get. Okay. So. Uh, it's just a recap of all the stuff we've seen. Poor opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your mid card outperformed the opening of your show, creating a weak, weak start, start and confusing pacing. pacing. Swapping these two matches would have created a stronger start for your show. That's what I was supposed to do. Yep. Yeah. Well, that, okay. Yeah, that's, right, okay. Well, that's good. That's a good note. Good note. So, oh, show quality a D. Oh, six out of thirty. <laughs> oh. Match card quality. 82 out of 120. 82 out of 120 star of bonuses. Plus 12. 12. Rating score 99. Cool. New fans, 99,000. Last week's fans, so a million. So, yeah. Fan retention rate, okay. Yeah. Losing viewership and gaining fans. Yep. Damn. Okay. So. Shit, that could have been a real good start for me. Could have been. Yeah. Next viewership, all will be calculated into show score. Not all mm. fans will stick around. The retention yeah. rate will vary from week to week, and that will determine how many fans you'll carry over from the previous week. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Keeping up a message from the commissioner. Okay, yep. Sure. Total fans. So, fan change, 88. 88. Thousand total. Okay. So, all right, okay, cool, 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 that's cool, 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 yeah. Hate to see Orton lose, but props to John Cena. Mm -hmm. Smojo, better luck next time. Better luck next time. Ali, uh, happy to fight you anytime, anytime Keith. Keith. Only one way it ends. Yeah. Uh, Alexa Bliss crowned new champion tonight. tonight. About time she's looking for stronger than Raquel for weeks. Raquel was the same popularity as you. Mm -hmm. With the which... title. Yeah. Their classes are a perfect fit, though. Yeah. Uh, Raquel Gonzalez woke yeah. the crowd up after that yeah. boring opener. Would have been an awesome way to open rock. Yeah, all right, Suplex Champion 97. <laughs> Random name, bunch of numbers. Alexa Bliss's match was my favorite part of tonight's show. We'd love to see Raquel get a rematch. 
Wait, have to no. wait and see what happens next week. Oh, there's there another go. piece there. Sorry, there's another piece I wanted to read. Uh, Lee calling out Mustafa Ali, hitting the target. Good promo. It was. He's a great promo. Colossal veteran 89 coming in with the uh, with the hot takes there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> suplex champion 97. <laughs> <laughs> right. You were born in 97. What do you know? Yeah. You don't know anything, you baby. <laughs> right. Are you ready then? Yeah, Are you yeah. happy with all this info? Uh, Yes, I mean, so you can look at it again next oh, week. Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, successfully completed that. So, what, what, was, your, what was your commissioner's goal for this week? Uh, top babyface, top heel yeah, to ah. have uh, a match. Which ah, was, interesting. Uh, Brock and Joe. Ah, okay, cool. Would you look at that? Nice. So, you got a free advertising booking. Nice. 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 All Would right. You? Yeah, rank. Oh! <gasps> Oh, does that does that say, rank, oh, does that say ranking two? No. Does that say ranking two? It does say ranking two, doesn't it? Oh, I wonder why that is. I wonder who's ranking one. Oh, bugger. Well, let's see, shall we? So my show quality oh, so six out of thirty. Cause... Yeah, eighty two out of twenty. Yeah, sure. Yo, you Rank's just need me in fans. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. New when fans, one hundred one thousand. Come on, guys. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I lost this week. Come on, guys. I got more money from that. Total budget 234 now. That's great. Okay. Walter is perfect for tables matches. Put him in another one, said Specialist Underground 87. It's got a little uh, marker next to it, which means I should really pay attention to that. <laughs> I need to put Walter in more tables matches. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good great ma great tonight. Good, good matches. matches. That match with Walter was so good. Kingston put in such a good effort, though. Big props. Yeah, Arya, Devari, and Riddle have absolutely no chemistry as a tag team. Too bad you've just started a tag rivalry feud with them. I mean, I'd have to continue it. It's fine. Sorry I let everyone down. Promise I'll do better, said mm. Dakota Kai. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. Tucker was trying to sell us stuff tonight, but at least it was fairly entertaining. <laughs> That's what we strive for. Fairly entertaining. <laughs> it was fine, I guess. Yeah. Smackdown started strong and ended strong. I liked it. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's the key to it, isn't it? There we go. Bugger, All bugger, right. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Love it. Love it. So that means ranking one. My my commissioner's Ooh. goal was to uh, book a run in. Oh right. Which I did. Yeah yeah. So that was a uh, Tony Storm. I'm glad I didn't have that because I hadn't factored one into my pre-plan. Mm, yes. uh, so what have you got? Contract negotiation. So I get uh, the something. <laughs> I get a thing. That doesn't make ranking one. That's what we like mm -hmm. to see. As expected. Week one goes to SmackDown, just like every single week will. Every week that follows, we're going to be going through the same thing. Every time Luke thinks he's going to book the best show, and he's going to be TLC, Extreme Rules, Tables, Hell in a Cell, and none of it will matter, because consistent week-to-week -week television is the way to do things, and Luke, your big stars, they fall to the might of Tucker. Hey, just slightly like coming number one. Slightly eat me out there in week one. So here we go. Yeah, coming number one. Finish season rank number one, etc. Oh, so I'm yeah. ahead by 1,000. <laughs> no, yep, 1,900 fans. Yeah. Nearly 2,000 fans. Nearly 2,000 fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you and just... I've got more money than you now. Oh, yeah, you have as well. Because of the ads. It's because you, you spent a load of money I on all your big spent matches. Spent a lot of money. <laughs> Speculate so we can I've got Walter it's... and Baszler retaining as my champions. Yeah, look at that. Alexa Bliss. Mm -hmm. Off the bat, I've got a brand new women's champion. Yep, sure do. Sure do. Oh, I that got was. Uh, I've got a plan for next week. That was intense. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm. I'm a big fan of this. All right. <laughs> Big All right, fight. okay, we'll, okay, we'll, okay. Take, we'll take that win in week one. Yeah, yeah, we'd love you to know, see it. But you know what? It's it's week one. Mm. There's still time. There's still plenty of time. Plenty of time to turn it around. But I think that's going to do it, right? Yeah, no, I think that probably does it for this episode. Please do click the link in the video description down below to get your copy of WWE 2K22 when you set up your own GM mode with your mate. It's a hell of a lot. I actually really enjoyed it. It was really yeah. good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, please do click the link. It's available on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Click the link. It supports 2K. It supports Parts Fun Known. Um, we'll be back next week with episode two. I've already got my card booked. I don't have a notepad, so I don't. <laughs> That's what we've got time for. I have been Luke Cohen, D-A-D, representing Raw. I've been Chopper Pete Quinnell, representing SmackDown. And that was the Monday Night War. Jam that jam. When you click the other videos and check out other stuff here on Parts Fun Lane, like Adam's booking videos, Adam's list, Quizzlemania, and a whole host of other gubbins. Thanks, everyone.